this is my booktube and this is my best friend, Paige! Yay! Uh, I thought I'd do something a little different today, my voice is going weird, that's a weird. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so I thought I'd do something a little different today because I was coming over to Paige's and to see her kitten. She's got two gorgeous Bengal cat kitten things and like they're so cute. Cat kitten things. So today we're going to be doing a review on Wither, which we both read and we read the entire series, but I only brought the first book with me because I'm an idiot. She's stupid. Yeah. But we love them. We love these books. They're great. It's focusing on you now, Paige. Because <laughs> I'm gorgeous. It is. <laughs> Would you like to give a synopsis of this wonderful book? Well, basically, it's dystopian. Is that the right word? It is a dystopian it book. It is a dystopian book. Um, and they've edited human genealogy. Yes! I do not know words. Sounding well smart. Um, so that they try to make people stronger but it didn't work, and now men die at 25 and women die at 20. I was right, don't check me. <laughs> do you not trust me? I do trust you. No trust in this relationship. <laughs> Best friends, no trust. No trust. But I bring you Mentos, so it's all good. Where the Mentos at? I haven't got them with me. Right. So the main character is called Ryan. She's 16 years old, so she only has four years left to live. Four. Four. Not eight, like if you put up two fingers. Four. Four. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. You look into the camera page. This is not film and television. But Adam says we're not meant to look into the camera. We have to look next to the camera. Look into the camera! Look into my eyes. <laughs> The book is about a girl called Ryan Ellery who's 16 years old and she gets kidnapped and sold as a bride to a guy called Lyndon and her cat's called Minden so it's quite funny. It is funny. And she basically, she ends up falling in love, kind of. Is that a spoiler? Are we not allowed to give spoilers? Let's not give spoilers. Let's not give spoilers. We're not going to give I'm spoilers. I'm not going to say who she falls in love with. Might yeah. be her friend? Might be her husband? Yeah. It might be her husband's dad. It might be the cook from the kitchen downstairs. She is sold as a wife to Linton and uh, she becomes a sister wife to two other wives? Yeah, two. Yes, two other wives. And um, they have names. They have names. They have names. They do have names. They do have names. Is this from when you borrowed my book and it's gone all mouldy on the edges? I don't know what you're talking about. I do not ruin people's books. I'm she not, does. I'm She's not. a book ruiner. Stop playing on your phone! One of them's called Jenna. Selena? No! Uh, it's Jenna, and I swear the other one's called like Cecily or something. Cecily, that sounds familiar. Yes, it's Cecily. It's Cecily. Cecily and. What was it? Jenna. Cecily and Jenna. So her sister wife is called Cecily and Jenna, and they all live in this like big house together, and they're only allowed on this one floor because it's called the wife's floor. Stop looking like a scared rabbit. They're allowed in the garden. Partway through the book, they're allowed in the garden. I should have reread this book. You should have reread this. this book before you did. It was so long ago. So we really enjoyed this book. It was, it was, it wasn't difficult to get into either, was it? Did you find it difficult to get into? I didn't find it difficult to get into, but I did start off calling her Ryan, Ryan, because I wasn't yeah. really sure how to pronounce it. And yeah, because it's, like, it's spelt uh, R H I N E, um, and we're both Dixie Lexic, so um, I spent the whole of the first chapter calling her Ryanie. Yeah. This is what I was talking to you guys about, about like the thread of glass thing with the whole Kalena and Selena thing. It is Kalena! In my mind it will always be Kalena. Each to their own. If you guys want Paige to read the Throne of Glass series, comment below and like this video. Because the more he gets, the more I will push her to read this book. I don't know, it doesn't interest me. A beautiful darkness! I'm reading Beautiful Darkness. But the cover of this book is really pretty. If she'd take the sticker off. If she <laughs> No! Take, if she'd take the two for three sticker off, then it'd be a lovely cover. But you see this big ugly sticker that she refuses to take off. Shame on you. Shame on me. Shame on her. Shame on me. Shame on her. Shame on me. Shame on her. Shame on me. Shame. Shame on me. We've read the whole trilogy and it just gets better. It does. It honestly gets I better. I think I found the third book a little slow to get into. I thought the, the second book was quite... But I think that's maybe because I took a break. I read this book and then I read a load of other books and then I found it a difficult to get back into. Yeah, it might be it. So the first book's good. The second two are a little slow to get into, but, but they're, they're good. good. 
Um, the, I felt that the second book was a bit of a filler, uh, and the, the third book is sort of, I think, I felt that the third book was rushed. I, I, I felt like the, the, the third book kind of had like more just, to be told. I think it was I like, liked the first and the second book. The third book was rushed. Maybe it's just because I didn't want the series to end. Might probably be that. I mean, I always have an issue with last books. Yeah. First edition, who's alleged? First edition with mould on it! That's your fault. It's not got mould, I dropped it in a... I used the hairdryer to dry it out, that counts. The second book is called Fever, and the third book is called Sever, and these books are by a woman called Lauren DeStefano. DeStefano. Go and read this book, and we will be doing better versions of this. Um, I've never done this before, so No, she's new to it, and our, our drama teacher, we're currently studying film, and we get told off looking at the camera, so she's sort of like, conk, camera, conk, camp. So we'll probably be, we're gonna be doing um, a full series review on this. This was just like an overview. When we've reread it, and I can actually remember what happens. Her fault. Uh, we'll also do... She just turned up at my house and went, hey, let's film YouTube. <laughs> and I was like, right, okay then. What? <laughs> Uh, we'll also do a clockwork one. Yes, yes we will definitely clockwork be reviewing Prince, Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Princess. Yes. They have names. They have names. They are such a good series and we will definitely be doing a spoiler review on that because... Um, we love them. We are obsessed. Yes. Go Jam. Team Will. Team Jam. Team Will. Team Jam. Team Will. We're not having this argument again because I'm always right. No, you're not. Team Will. Wessa. <laughs> Jessa. Wessa. Jessa. Jessa. Um, and once I've read the Divergent series, we'll definitely do a review on that. You need to read John Green stuff so we can do a review on John Green. Gondrine. 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 Gondrine is the John. person who wrote The Fault in Our Stars. Gondrine. You need to read Looking for Alaska when Bradley gives me my coffee back. So thank you for watching. Um, subscribe wherever that button is. There. Yeah. Okay, so it's somewhere. It's somewhere. We don't know. All of my social media stuff is um, somewhere on my page. If you go onto my about, it is all linked in there. Um, feel free to subscribe or comment or leave any questions. Ask Paige questions. Ask me lots of questions. I have no friends, I need people to talk to. She really does. She's my only friend. I am. I love you. I love you both. I'm so sad and lonely. It's okay, I love you. I only have books. <laughs> we'll see you some other time soon and you will see Paige again. Bye! Bye! Mangoes.